Remember that last time where we fought Robo Sandy back at the Poseidon? I wonder which robot doppelganger we're going to fight in the in this day in the industrial park. Let's find out. Oh my god, it's Robo Pinhead! Who you calling Pinhead? Anyways, Robo, uh, Robo Patrick is actually quite, uh... Great battery Robo Patrick is actually my favorite fight in, in the entire game. And he's, uh, he has a number of attacks, but, um, all of them are pretty much, uh, industrial... Look at that! The robot's made himself dizzy! It's pretty much, um... What do, what do you call this? Slime uh, shooting base. First, he hits his uh, uh, ice cream into the ground, or whatever that thing is. Ice cream with goo into the ground that hits, that shoots a lot of um, uh, goo, but that, is, but that can barely hit you. Then, he'll always do a, every time for a second attack, he'll always lick his uh, goo cream and then spit it at you. And then he does a spinning attack, and after when he's a, and after that spinning attack, um, he will get himself diz dizzy, which, which will give you a chance to hit his uh, kick me sign. So yeah, that's only during the first phase. Second phase, that's when we play a Sandy. And then third phase, we'll... And then third phase, we play a SpongeBob again. But let me warn you right now, if you're playing this on your first try and you have no idea what you're doing, my god, I feel sorry. Last time I played this, my god, I had a hard time with this boss. Also, uh, you gotta be quick for his, uh, kick me sign because, well, he gets up rather quickly. So anyways, let's do this fight legitimately because I had to explain all that shit. And yes, every time you're in a, a major boss battle, the fish announcer will always be around. So, out of nowhere, commenting the entire fight. So yeah, that's all you have to, you have to do. Don't hit him in the front because that doesn't hurt him. So yeah, I do like this fight actually. I also like the ambience of ambience of the song. I'll try to keep doing this without getting hit. Robo Patrick will only change tactics when he wants to. After three hits. Even then, we saw him with the TV, right? Well, it's about time we fight him. Wait, the song loops? Okay, I think, it was a I think it was another mistake in this game. Now we're in phase two, the, uh, the Sandy one. He does the same exact moves of spinning around and spinning uh, the goo at you, but this time, uh, but after he hit the first hit uh, during the second phase, uh, I think we'll change up a bit. We can use these hooks, but let's use them later. Every time you get, every time you hit him, he'll raise the goo level. I 
Okay, you better watch out for that goop goop every time he does when he, uh, uh, does, goes to a new phase. Well, not to a new phase, he'll always do that after when he lowers the goo, the way he raises the goo level. Now, as you can see, with that goo risen, we can't attack him from the ground, but we have to use these crates by, by uh, swinging on the um, hooks. When he's spinning or moving at all, uh, he will break the crates, so be quick and careful. So, yeah, the sandy part is actually pretty easy. I don't know why every time he spits it, it's like a sword uh, being uh, drawn from uh, its uh, scabbard. I don't know why it has that sound. Whoa, shoot. And anyways, that's the third, that's the second phase. On to the third one. Alright, third phase is actually pretty hard. Not only are, are you limited to, to the area because of the amount of goo risen, um, he also, uh, Rugal Patrick now ha now uses his freeze breath. If you get frozen, you can't unthaw yourself, and you're, and you're gonna have to take the spit at, at the goo spit attack uh, when you are frozen. Now, if he gets dizzy, it's impossible to get close to him, but uh, but the only way to hit his back is by bubble bowling to his back. And let me tell you right now, he, he actually gets dizzy rather long in this phase. So overall, this is the hardest phase, but it's really easy if you know what you're doing. Try to do this without getting hit on like that Poseidon battle. Battle with Robo Sandy. So yeah, I like this fighter. Do this really quickly. You can use the cruise bubble during this uh, uh, fight, but I'll only show the fights once. What? Oh, come on. Okay, don't go any further because you will get caught by the uh, freeze breath. So just stay at the conveyor belt and try not to fall into the goo. Every time he does a spin, it's best to be here because it's really easy to dodge uh, the, uh, uh, the goo he's throwing. Time for the final hit. And Robo Patrick will be dead. I like this fight for a reason, because yes, Patrick sucks in the new seasons, so I'll show my hatred. Fuck you, Patrick! Oh, wait. Fuck you, Patrick! Ugh, great, you have to do you have to shit your pants during the fight. Even after when you're frozen. I'm sorry, Clinton. The chum bucket lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the chum bucket security system. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you going to do, Clayton? We, of course, meaning you, we're going to have to go out there and get those golden spatulas. Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Hmm, something fishy here. Keep looking for golden spatulas, SpongeBob. I'm sure that my robots out there have some. <laughs> hey, you call 
them your robots. No! I, uh... And I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said, Property of Plankton. Well, maybe. But I, uh... And I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. Can I have that back? I need it for my tax write-off. I think you've been pulling my leg this whole time. Well, duh! I'll bet you made all these robots. And after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, I'm gonna tell everyone! Fine! Tell everyone! Be a big tattletale! I'm still smarter than all of you! Maybe this day won't be mine. Or the next. Or possibly even the next, or 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 the next after that. But the one after the next, after the next, after the next, after that. Well, that one after that, right next to that one, that will be my day. Again, this story, we already know who is behind it all, and uh, all that kind of stuff. Let's talk to Bubble Buddy, because we learned a new move. Here's the entry to World 
uh, seven uh, that we'll be doing later. Here's the entry to World Nine. Remember, remember what Pat Plankton said during the beginning? He says he says that if you get him close to the Chum Bucket, he'll reward you uh, with a bunch of golden spatulas. But in our dreams, World Nine is SpongeBob's dream. But uh, let's not do that yet. World Nine is free to go to, but. Uh, I'd rather do this for last, because World 9 is, is the hardest world in the game. Well, but it's not really that hard in my book. It's just annoying at times. Huh. Theater. Revenge of the Bride of Plankton's Other Brain. Wasn't he married to Karen? That computer? Well. May I help you? You need 40,000 shiny objects to enter the theater. Let's do this for last before we fight the final boss of the game and return the, all of the socks to Patrick and uh, give Mr. Krabs all the uh, shiny objects. Speaking of Krabs, um, actually let's talk to him for last. Because, because well, actually besides shiny objects, something happens in the Krusty Krab. Let's go in the Chum Bucket later. Let me just grab all the shiny objects I need. I think that's the only purple shiny object in uh, the team bottom. Uh, where to go first? Um... Did I get all the socks? No, wait, there's a couple, there's one sock in the crystal cab. Yep, one sock in the crystal cab. Let's go inside the chum bucket first. Ah, huh, a menu. Chum bucket. Chum burger, chum fries, chum, ah, chum shake, chum on a stick, chum balia. Balaya, I can't pronounce that, which is new. Chum chili, chum pie, warning, blah 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 blah. If you know, uh, Mr. Krabs and Plankton have a rivalry, and Mr. Krabs is more successful than his uh, rival. So, which means Plankton never got a single customer. Anyways, oh. So that's the security system. You only need a 75 gold specialist.
go see Mr. Krabs. He's finally back at his crusty crab. What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? You don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The crusty crab's been overrun by a bunch of them hoops and robots in here. Okay, remember that side quest we can do and that included uh picking up shiny objects and giving them to Mr. Krabs? It's uh yeah, I, I didn't even give uh, give any to him yet. But uh if you uh if you uh give if you uh, how can I explain this? Um if you didn't pay him anything or you didn't give him all thirty nine uh thousand five hundred five hundred shiny objects, uh if you have a couple more uh, bills to pay to him, unfortunately, uh, you can't do that once you get to the third area because uh, he tells you to just clear up the crusty crab and, and, and um, well, clear up the crusty crab from all the robots. And after you do that, you can uh, start giving him shiny objects again. Kind of a weird thing, but if you pay him all of it, all, all 39,500 uh, shiny objects, he won't. He won't talk about uh, the Krusty Krab being in danger, which I kind of find odd. More. So, anyways, uh, inside is yet another robot like Gauntlet, like in um, Sandy's Tree Dome. But this one is hell. Chuck robots, but there are also Sleepy Time robots and the new Boost Bots. These bots are kind of not really threatening. They fire their laser, but it takes a while for them to charge up. But they kind of, but they're really easy to defeat. The only thing I hate about this are the Sleepy Times and the Chucks. They're really annoying. Plus the key, plus the way to get there is that you have to go past these uh, annoying uh, Sleepy Times. Oh, I should have done this on top of the chum bucket mission. Maybe I should kill that guy first. Oh yeah, I can't aim. Oh, freaking. Oh, oh god. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is crazy. Cower! Sorry. Ugh, man, I hate doing that mission. Try to do it carefully because I don't want to get my ass raped by those stupid sleepy times. Because if you jump, they will wake up. Ready to go. See? Get your ass raped by these guys. Oh, frickin' shuck. Oh, good pipe. Gotcha. Oh god. Alright, that killed him. Alright. Ah, oh, all three of them are there. 
Try to do it safely, because when underwear is not that good. Yeah, they have a long range with their lasers. If you stand on one of the tables, you're safe. What? That didn't kill him? Why are they dancing? Alright, one left. Oh god, I don't want to aim for that. Where is he? You destroyed all the robots. Go see Mr. Scratch for your reward, even though you died. Uh, they're all dead. Yeah, if you uh, come back here after clearing up all of the robots, uh, you will, everybody will be back, like the customers, like out of thin air. So let's go back and talk to Mr. Krabs and get our reward. God, that was weird. <laughs> what just happened? I killed him, but it killed me, but I revived. inside later, because there is a sock in there. But first, let's do the outside mission first. All we have to do is aim for those three buttons on the jump bucket. Okay, it's a bit tricky. You have to back up a bit. Oh, shoot. Hit all three buttons, and it will cause a spring to appear. Or a tramp, whatever you want to call it. A trampoline. Now, we can go there, but we can actually go to the clam of the Krusty Krab to get the last golden underwear. Wow! Six pairs of underwear. I am one unbeatable sponge. That's the maximum amount of health you can have in this game. Anyways, here's the last golden spatula of all of uh, Bikini Bottom. Or at least the, um, Hub World. Now the buttons will go unpressed, so it's best to do the, the cruise bubble rather quickly. But if you get the trampoline uh, there, uh, there already, uh, and if the buttons get unpressed, um, that won't that won't do anything. Don't worry about it. Yes, even if you go close to them uh, with your bubble wand, nothing happens. Let's go back to Krusty Krab. That way we don't have those. Uh, robot glitching sounds, just so we can get our last sock of this world. I feel like I should be working. I'm gonna break everything. Oh, I didn't have to realize this one. Things you can open. Actually, I think it's like this. You go to the cash register, you open it, Oh no, it's not like that. Oh, they even asked, uh, the developers decided to add some detail inside the kitchen, but Sputter can't go inside. Out of an island. Wreck both the ketchup and mustard. Why is a kid acting like he's under attack? Yeah, in fact, later, if you start wrecking a lot of stuff, every, a lot of, uh, customers will panic that they're under attack. I just killed all the robots. There's no, there's no need to be worried. Uh, mine. What is he doing here? Break all these barrels. It's crazy. Someone left their soda there. That's what the cup says. Wreck everything. Wrecking everything. Wreck. Wreck and shit. Hmm. Pile of cans. Okay. 
Breaker, more boxes, Triple X Flower. I don't know what the X's mean. Besides uh, adult ratings, I don't get it for like alcohol or food stuff. I think it's to break both uh, under the keys and the ceiling. Just a clock. Or just simply go to the crow's nest. No, that's right, it appears. There it is. The last Patrick Sock of Bikini Bottom. So yeah, Bikini Bottom is now cleared up, except for the movie theater, uh, Patrick. Pat for today, returning Patrick Socks and um, giving Mr. Krabs 39,500 shiny objects. Alright, I'll see you in Jellyfish Fields for the backtracking. Alright, I'm back. Remember this location? Squadrush will come back here later when he knows the cruise bubble move. Well, we have it right now. All we have to do is kill these flowing tickies and get our Patrick shot. Finally, the 14th Patrick Sock of Jellyfish Fields. Alright, I'll see you in um, downtown Bikini Bottom for the backtracking. I would warp right now, but my battery's dying. Alright, here we are in downtown Bikini Bottom Sea Needle. Um, re remember that there's one mission that we can't do because we need the cruise bubble move? Well, here's, well, since we have it now, we can finally do that last mission. Remember why the south, uh, that, what was it called? The south room is, uh, locked? Or, um, well, 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 it's locked because we need the cruise bubble. Why is it locked, you may ask? We'll find out right now. All you do is launch it and hit the button. Now that platform appears. I recommend doing getting this as Sandy. So anyways, let's grab that, um, that platform and land on it. I think I did this mission without even... wait. I think I did this mission without the cruise bubble because there was a hook there. That the hook just appeared. I don't know what just happened. Anyways, there's our last golden spatula, the only one that we have to backtrack to. I think there was a hook here that I went to with uh, with Sandy by barely getting here, and then uh, swung to the button, and then kicked it, and then went back here and got the golden spatula. I, but I don't know how I did that. Without, without even getting the cruise bubble. But anyway, there's also the last time to talk. It's right here. The last back, the last backtracking in the game, finally complete. So yeah, that's it for the sea needle of the um, of uh, downtown bikini bottom. Let's go back and I'll lock the gate to world, um, seven. <laughs> I forgot the name. The number. Kelp Forest. So that's the name of world seven. All you need is 50 gold spatulas and you'll enter world seven, Kelp Forest. Uh, but we'll do that next part because this video is going to be long, as I know it. And, uh, you know what, to be honest, I'm not going to have fun after World 7. I really won't. <laughs>